which brings us back to the present. And a team that won Vision High School Sports Beat Team of the Year honors for 2016, the unblemished boys lacrosse team at Victor. What to do for an encore? Last year, the Victor boys lacrosse team left no goals unaccomplished. The Blue Devils completed an undefeated season with national ranking, a third straight Section 5 title, and a second straight state championship. All under fourth year head coach, Jim Andre. Alexander, catch it high. Okay. Realistically, we keep it in check because I told the guys, this isn't like you know a professional football team or baseball team or hockey where all of a sudden you have the same guys in your ass for seven, eight, nine, ten years. You know, high school, that's why we love high school sports. I mean, it changes every two years. It's an entirely new roster. And so these kids look at the fact that they're excited for the guys that have came before them. And without a doubt, we have returning kids. But these kids have got to, they got to build a program themselves and make a statement for themselves. We're just very passionate about the sport. The whole, you know, town and community is just very passionate. We, you know, love to play lacrosse. We'll do pickup leagues. You'll see guys come up here in the summer and just shoot for fun when they're hanging out. It's just something that we all, you know, love to play. Nowitzki is a senior once recruited by Virginia for lacrosse, but opted to play football for the University of Buffalo next year. His class has big shoes to fill. Victor graduated four All-Americans last year including two-time player of the year, T.D. Erlen, now at Albany. In, in most sports, if you are scored upon, you get the ball back. In football, you score on me, you kick off to me. You know, if, if basketball, I score, you get the ball. Lacrosse is a funny game. You know, you could score, and all of a sudden, if you have a great face-off guy, you get to score again. Last year, T.D. going 82% of the time. That means 82% of the time, we're on offense. Uh, we got to figure that out. It's obviously tough. Uh, they were a really talented group, um, but I mean, I hope with the talent we have here, we'll be. I think we'll be a different team this year. Um, so hopefully, we just we pick off right where we left off. How different? How so? Um, I think we're gonna be we're gonna have to grow a little bit more. I mean, we had a, obviously a lot of seniors last year who could carry the team with some experience. Um, but I think just a lot of juniors are gonna have to step up this year, and some of the seniors as well are gonna lead the way. Among those returning is TD's younger brother Chase Erlin, the All Greater Rochester goalie. Chase lost his entire year with the hockey team to injury, but the Cornell-bound junior is back ready to give it another go out here. I guess uh, I wasn't taking enough time on my own, so I guess my body told me this way to take some time off. So, I mean, it was good. It was tough to sit out in hockey, but I'm ready to go for lacrosse. This is, and this is the big one. I mean, mm -hmm. as good as hockey is, really, the lacrosse season is the yeah. big one for you, right? Yeah, I mean, obviously, I, I love hockey uh, just as much, but lacrosse season, I'm going to Cornell to play, so, you know, I'm looking forward to my future, but also the rest of the season here. The varsity level is an entirely different level. I, honestly, I'm not convinced that the lower levels are, are uh, a great indication of success at the varsity level. I know our kids um, enjoy playing together in the summer, and I do like the fact that our younger guys learn how to play fast from the older guys, but uh, make no mistake about it, the guys joining our varsity this year, they're gonna have to uh, pick up the pace if they're gonna compete really well at the varsity level. How good are these guys still? 11 have already accepted offers to play at college. From Loyola, Seton Hill, Fairfield, Cornell, Canisius, and Virginia, both secured well in advance. Despite missing all of last year injured, Alexander Mabbitt, still just a junior, knows he's headed to Johns Hopkins. It happens during club ball in the summer and it's a great opportunity and I'm very thankful. But you're a ninth grader and you're already thinking about college? Yeah, it was a crazy decision. Ordinarily, you'd consider this a rebuilding year but not here. We're gonna try and reload this year. We've got a lot of kids uh, who've had success at the younger levels, whether it's modified and JV, and now they're joining our varsity squad. And we have returning kids also, but to be honest with you, Bill, uh, it's gonna be a quick learning curve. 